The new Cologne Mega Mosque is an important addition to Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's network of European mosques. And it's part of what some warn is a dangerous and growing fifth column inside Europe. But when Erdogan arrived in Germany to christen the new mosque, what began as a welcome with military honors went downhill quickly. The lavish televised ribbon cutting was marred by protest. This German protester said, when I heard that Erdogan will receive a state reception, I was appalled. He slaughtered Kurds, invaded Syria, and imprisoned hundreds of thousands without court orders. Erdogan got a cold reception from Germany's president. German leaders had already backed out of attending the mosque opening. And at Erdogan's press conference, a journalist protesting over jailed reporters in Turkey was forcibly removed. While Germany allowed the giant mosque, the Austrian government has shut down Turkish mosques and expelled 60 imams in June because they were being funded by the Turkish government and because these photos from inside a mosque showed Turkish children being trained to be martyrs. The leading expert on Turkey's network of mosques and Islamic associations in Europe, Abdallah Bozkurt, calls them Erdogan's fifth column. What we have been uh, seeing in the last couple of years, an increased uh, activity on the part of the Turkish government to turn the mosques uh, that, was, that were financed by the Turkish communities or by the Turkish government, or imams deployed directly from Turkey to serve as sort of political operatives. Bozkurt warns that mosques like this are the basis for a proxy force that can strike inside Europe. Dale Hurd, CBN News.